Hey Susie, welcome back to Agent Republic. Here we go. Hey Susie, yes. these guys are working back late for us tonight. I know, they're, they're doing, doing a good well. job. Nick, yep. can you organise a pay rise? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, uh, today we're actually going to talk a little bit about the mindset. Yes. Some of the agents that you and I are talking to at the moment, Susie, we're really finding that uh, you know the market's a little bit tight and and it's really playing on their minds. Like, yes. what are some tips that we can give the people and our Republicans out there yes. around yeah, helping them with their, yeah, yeah. with their, basically their, helping them with their mind? Well, I think the big thing is to start off and looking at what are you actually making the situation mean? See, the truth is you can't control the market, you can't control external things but you can control what you make it mean. Mm. So for one person, it could mean, you know, it's getting tight, we're not gonna be able to do really good business or our numbers are gonna fall. For another person, it could be, hey, this is a great opportunity because all the other agents are gonna be focused on why the market's so bad and I can go out there and, you know, capitalize on it and actually do more marketing activities. Yeah. So first thing is to check what you're making things mean. So I always say, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Um, yep. What are you making things mean? And then secondly, is come up with a better story. Because the truth is there's three kinds of stories. There's the one that disempowers you, number one. Yeah. There's the one that empowers you. And then there's the third one, and this is the most dangerous. It's the one that has truth to it, but it doesn't help you. So the market at the mm. moment is a good one. It's a number three. It, there is truth to it, yeah. you know? It is changing at the moment, but it doesn't empower you to keep running that story. So what you want to do is you want to say, okay, what perspective can I do to look at this? to create something that's gonna move me towards action as opposed to freak me out and not do yeah, action. Yeah. So that's what I'd say. And the other thing I'd say is if you find yourself in that place, it really comes down to emotional energy, your positivity. Yeah. So go out and do something fun. Vibration. It, yeah, exactly, <laughs> vibration, right? It sounds kind of intuitive to think, you know, I should be working, I should be working. No, in actual fact, if you're in that place where, you know, it's you're in a kind of a weird head funk, Go out, do something fun, do something that makes you feel alive and Absolutely. passionate and then go, okay, now I'm going to plan what do I want to do yeah. with this and achieve. Yeah, yep. great, some great tips there, Susie. Yep. One of the things that have helped me in the past when, you know, I'm feeling, and I'm, you know, challenges around the mindset, probably number one is go back to your why and yes, really definitely. feel it, go back into it, understand it, mm -hmm. like why you do what you do. And if it is a connection with you, it will move you to a different state. The second one that's always helped me, and this is going back years ago, but it's probably like my 90s coaching and 80s coaching <laughs> that I had from my great coach, Bob Bolin. But, yep. you know, he said, you know, get a philosophy that you believe in. And, yes. and I still use it today. You know, if you're willing to do things today that others won't do, you will have things tomorrow that others won't have. Exactly but right. I say it with a lot of passion when I do it, and I get into this state and it actually moves me. I'm like, oh, I can do this. I will have things yes. that others won't do. And probably the third thing is, your friend, Tony Robbins, yes. you know, he said, I now command my subconscious mind to give me the strength, the emotion to do whatever it takes to move this out of space. Yes, exactly right. But see what you're doing, you're moving your energy, mm. you're getting yourself into a feel good Can place. I get you? No. Yeah, go. <laughs> <laughs> no, no I'll, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, you get yourself into a really cool emotional state yeah. and then go for it. Or the other thing too is to visualize. Instead of focusing on, oh my gosh, doom and gloom, stop and say, okay, what is it that I want? Visualize it, see it, feel it. Because so if you believe it, then you'll go after it and achieve it. So yeah, yeah I like okay. these. These I are like good to points. Do. No excuses, your mindset, 100%. Yes. We'd like to hear from you. If you've got some additional things that you do when things aren't going to plan, you've got some ideas that you think could help, please. Um, send them through to us because yeah. we'd love to hear about it. And put some comments down on our social media platform. Yep. We love hearing from you. Cool. So if you liked this video, make sure you share it. And where can the guys find us? Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. And also too, stay tuned because we will be launching our Agent Republic podcast and we'll be coming to you live every morning at 5am um, on our Agent Republic Facebook page. Don't forget to be awesome.